Ah, uh, enter the fifth dimension. Enter the fifth dimension. Is it um, enter the fifth dimension? Well, there isn't a title. It's just called Haken Demo 2007-2008, but unofficially, people call it Enter the Fifth Dimension. Okay. The first demo, yeah. um, originally, was just called 2007-2008 Demo, but the fans uh, called it Enter the Fifth Dimension, because this was a slogan we had on our MySpace page. Well, you're going to have to tell me, I don't know. What is, it? what is it? Well, apparently Enter the Fifth Dimension is the unofficial title, it's not the What's official What's the official title? title? Apparently it's just 2007 Demo. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it, that's great. Enter yeah. the Fifth Dimension, okay, I, thought, I always thought that was the official title. Yeah. How do they determine that? Oh well. It's definitely either Visions or Crystallized. I'm going to go for Visions, 22 minutes. The longest Haken song I think is Visions, and it's about 21 minutes, 21 and a bit minutes, something like that. I feel like it must be crystallised. No, it's Visions. And it's 26 minutes? Uh, it's 22. But okay. You got it. Crystallised. But I don't know how long it is. <laughs> and I could be wrong. It, is wrong. it, it might be Visions. It is Visions. Oh, no. Crystallised. Um, 20 minutes. Oh yeah, okay, so that's got to be Visions coming in at 22 minutes yeah. and something, 50 seconds or something? It's 22 minutes and 25 seconds. 25 seconds, okay. the most accurate. Ah. Darkest Light was based on Blind. 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 Blind? Yeah. It is based on the song Blind. Correct. Ah, oh, well we did, um, we did Stonehenge. Uh, we did Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. We did Two Weeks in Spain by Gentle Giant. Roundabout by Yes. Owner of a Lonely Heart by Yes. Radio Gaga by Queen. A Toto song I now cannot remember the name of. Holds something. <laughs> uh, two Weeks in Spain by Gentle Giant. Hold the Line by Toto, which I completely fucked the ending. Oh, this is this is tricky. We did that Genesis tune. Lo uh, owner of a Lonely Heart. That's, I'm, I'm done. I can't be asked to remember anymore. There's probably more. We did Yes Roundabout, yeah. for sure. Um, we did Stonehenge. From the Spinal Tap. Peter Gabriel, the famous one, Sla Salisbury Hill, yeah. <laughs> owner of a lonely heart, we integrated into 1980. Maybe we did that one actually separately as well. We did Roundabout, we did Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. Oh, Stone, we did Stonehenge at Big Bottom from Spinal Tap. It feels like there was definitely one more in there, I'm forgetting. Uh, Stonehenge, owner of a lonely heart. We did Roundabout, Turn It On. By Genesis. Pass. <laughs> ah, the border iron Zotomy. Correct. Is that right? What date it was. Um, so 2014. But yes, yeah, so I remember that show very well. We, we had the path for Connor's audition tape. He did like a bass version of this song called The Path from The Mountain. And we were like, why don't you just play it? His first ever show, and he had to just stand there and play this really awkward chordal um, version of the path, which was pretty nerve wracking for him, but he did it. It must have been 2014. I have a feeling it was in Europe. I think it might have been at the Border Eye in the Netherlands when we were touring the mountain, I guess. Uh, it would have been. September 2014. It was April. April 2014? Yeah. Uh, the Border Eye. Yeah. It was a, like a little mini local festival. I forget the name of the town. Zultamir. And when yeah. was it? When was it? 2014 and must have been August? No. It was April. Or a festival says, oh, oh, it was April. Yeah. Wow. No idea. <laughs> I remember it very well. It was uh, in Zutomir, 
the Netherlands uh, for a festival called Prague Dreams, I think. April... Oh, I don't remember the exact date. It was, it was April of 2014. Uh, yeah, that was a weird, that was a weird experience. <laughs> First gig. Dido, Natalie Imbruglia, and um, Gary Barlow. Yeah. yeah. By the way, Pete's the greatest guy ever. Such a nice, um, nice guy and an incredible guitarist. Check out his band, Headspace. He's played with um, Dido. Uh, he's played, I don't know if it counts as pop, but he's played with Justin, what's his name? Uh, Justin Timberlake, no, uh, Justin from the Darkness. Oh, okay, yeah. In Hot Leg. Uh, he's played with, isn't it Natalie and Brulia? Uh, oh, he's probably played with loads of other people, I just can't remember. Natalie and Bruglia, for one. Gary Barlow, I know for sure. And... I wonder if this counts. He was in a band with uh, Justin Hawkins from The Darkness in a band called Hot Leg. Pete Rinaldi, okay. Pete Rinaldi, well, he's, right now he's on tour with Anastasia. Uh, he's played with uh, Dido as well. And he's played with uh, Justin Hawkins. That count as pop. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is going to be a no. Not because I don't... I, I love Pete. He's a great, amazing musician, really nice fella. But I don't know. He plays with a lot of... Um, People that are like that Americans know nothing about. Like it's, it's like we they don't they have, the crossover is not there. Or maybe people do, and I just don't. I'll be trying to think of uh, no. I got nothing. Can I, can you tell me some? Uh, Dido. No. Uh, Natalie and Brulia. Natalie, he's mentioned. Uh, Anastasia. The movie. No. I don't know. I don't know the Anastasia. Gary Barlow. I've heard the name. From ta he's from Take That. Oh, that's a big yeah. that's a big name. No, but I feel like I'm going to love hearing the answers. So I'm <laughs> you could have had Dido, Natalie Imbruglia. I actually did know Natalie Imbruglia. I remember him telling me, yeah, that is great. Gary Barlow, <laughs> oh Gareth Gates, Alfie Bow, or Paolo Nettini. And then Haken. And Haken. <laughs> <laughs> Puzzle box. Um, which is in like this really awkward section in the middle, like awkward rhythms. We thought, let's go crazy with the glitchy sounds. Um, and um, this is the final tune. Drum programming, Vector was Puzzle Box and Virus was The Strain. Correct. Puzzle Box yeah, on Vector, Virus, what did he do? The Strain. Uh, puzzle Box was one of them. And virus. I know he contributed to Only Stars, but I don't know if that was the one you're asking for. Maybe it was Carousel. No. What did he do? The Strain. It was The Strain? Yeah. I didn't even know this. <laughs> what? Puzzle Box on Vector, um, drug programming on Virus uh, must have been The Strain. Puzzle Box? Yeah. On Virus, um, not sure. <laughs> Greatest thanks, three of those <laughs> He must have thanked Ben and Jerry's. Darth Vader, Satan, or Democracy? I'm going to go with Democracy. It was Darth Vader. Oh, he missed the opportunity there. Darth Vader's great. Darth Vader. <laughs> oh, me personally, I don't think I've thanked... Oh, maybe I have... No, I don't think I've thanked Darth Vader. <laughs> Why is he not thanked? Yeah. He's a lunatic. <laughs> Uh, Satan? No, it's Darth Vader. He thanked Satan? Yeah. <laughs> is he not thanked? I don't, I don't think he would thank Darth Vader. Yeah, he hasn't. Yeah, he's, he's just not a Star Wars kind of guy. Uh, well, Ben and Jerry's for sure he thanked. Uh, Satan seems like a Ray-ism. And the, he's not a Star Wars guy, so I have to say Darth Vader. He wouldn't have thanked, yeah. The youngest is Connor. The oldest is Charlie. Charlie and Connor. The oldest and youngest member of Haken is probably Charlie, um, because he's oldest by a number of years, but youngest, youngest at heart. No, but I know what the real question is. Pete's the youngest. 
Apparently no, Connor's the youngest. <laughs> Shit. The oldest member is Charlie Griffiths, born in 1975. The youngest, Gobby Connor. Yeah. Who's the youngest member of Aiken? Me. Me. I'm 12. <laughs> <laughs>